right, this is uh, John Brad from RunMichigan.com talking to Heather Camp, who uh, was fourth out here at the Michigan Track Classic 800 meter, and uh, just talked to you recently up in Charlevoix. And uh, so, uh, what would you think of this 800 meter tonight? Uh, the atmosphere was so much fun. I was so excited to come out here and just see what it was like because I heard a lot of positive remarks from last year's when they just had the men's mile. So um, that's definitely the impression that I'm going to be leaving with is I want to come back again and put on another great show for this crowd. Um, about my race itself, I'd say I was like fairly pleased. You never really know what to expect this time of year. Um, as far as your sharpness goes, to run a really great 800. Um, I think I may have been a little bit tentative in knowing that I wasn't sure where my fitness was at. And a few times where I was like, ooh, this would be where I make a move and then somebody else occupies the space that I was about to take and think, oh, I'll just wait a little bit longer and then had a great kick at the end, but too, too much, too little, too late, whatever the phrase is. So um, I think I just ran out of real estate a little bit there. Um, but it's always positive to feel good and get back on the track and then run, run fairly well in a great field tonight. So. And what what changes? I know you like you know like we said you were just up at uh, Shalway running a yeah. road mile, uh -huh. you know, and now you come to run on the track and it's only 800 meters. So how does that change for you? Yeah. Um, well, I mean, I was just telling some other people it's kind of funny. This week we definitely went kind of all out taper, um, just practicing some speed stuff so that the intensity of an 800 might feel easier. So I ran an all out six and PR'd on Monday, then ran an all pretty almost all four on Wednesday. So really just cut it down and did everything on the track um, leading up to this to just feel. I'm really confident to be out here and um, just be aware of my space again. Um, but yeah, I mean, at this time of year, I feel like you just get to ride out the the wave of your fitness um, for the remaining month or so that I have of my season. So I try to think about today, just savor this experience. Like you can put a lot of pressure on yourself to do anything, but if you if you just enjoy every aspect of it, I think your your performance will reflect that. So yeah. And um, you know, it's got to be fun to get uh, the race again such a caliber field out here too. Yeah, yeah, it is so impressive how much Nick Willis and everyone who helped organize this meet um, did to put it together. They're so well organized. They like found all those little things like little athlete gift bags where we walk in the hotel and stuff like that that um, just make it memorable and really special for all of us I think. Um, and I'm just really impressed with how well he raced off of preparing this week. Um, I had my camp camp this week for my youth athletes um, back in Apple Valley, Minnesota. And I know how much it takes out of you just to be organizing and planning a big event and stuff like that. So um, I was really impressed with him and his performance and everything that he did for this thing. And uh, I know you've, uh, like I said, you were in Charlevoix, now uh, here in Celine, and then I think you mentioned you're going to be at the uh, Crim, right? Yes, yeah. Three times to Michigan and just under a month time, I think. Um, but it's nice because it's such a short trip for me. Um, at this time of year, I kind of dread getting on planes usually. Although on this trip, I got upgraded to one of those really big international first class class things where you have the whole pod and the lay down seat and I was oh, wow. disappointed my flight wasn't longer. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, like you said, it is nice uh, from Minnesota to get yes. here to Michigan, yeah. I know. It makes things a lot easier. I know a lot of athletes are kind of gearing up to maybe go back for the second season of Europe right now. Um, but like I said, because I'm coaching, it's nice to be closer to home and just get in a few more races right out my season and prepare for next year. <laughs> All right, Heather. Well, uh, congratulations uh, on the fourth place out here, and I uh, look forward to seeing you at the Crim in Flint in, uh, I guess, two weeks. Yeah. So, uh, all right, congratulations. And we'll see